I've spent way too many hours with this controller in my hands, so I figured why not use it to build something real. In this video, I'm taking this controller out of the game and building a real remote operated sentry turret. Boys, I'm not going to be on for a while. Let's do this. Before I could start building anything, I needed to make sure my Xbox controller could actually talk to something. I ended up connecting it to an ESP32 over Bluetooth and it was surprisingly straightforward, thanks to an existing library. I was able to get the buttons changing an LED in no time, so I took that as a green light and kept going. Alright, now that I have this controller talking to the ESP, now I need to figure out what I'm actually going to control with it. And for that, I have a few things in mind. First, I looked at Nerf, but it was too weak and barely accurate. This was an easy no. Then I considered Airsoft, which is much more powerful, but it looked way too real and the BBs are almost impossible to see. So I ultimately went with Paintball. It's loud, it's messy, and it's just honestly the most fun. With the paintball gun picked, the next step is to figure out how to aim and fire it in a way that feels natural. The plan is to use the right joystick to aim, left and right for the x-axis, and up and down for the y, just like how it works in most games. The idea is to take that exact control setup and use it to move real motors and fire real paintballs. Sweet. So now I have the idea figured out, but now comes the hard part. I actually have to build this thing. So the first thing I built was a 3D printed mount for the paintball gun. I made it so it bolts right into the handle using the screw holes that were already there. This is perfect because it needs to be solid. I added a square hole that fits a 2020 aluminum extrusion bar so that the gun can rotate on the Y axis. I tried to line it up as close to the center of mass as I could so it stays balanced and moves smoothly. Then came the fun part, the trigger. I threw a solenoid on the mount so it pulls the trigger like a little robotic finger. And here's the cool part. This gun is normally semi-auto, but by pulsing the solenoid in the right way, I pretty much turned it into a full auto setup. This is way cheaper than buying a real full auto paintball gun. Those things are like five times the price of this one. All right, so now that the gun could fire, I needed to make it aim. I started with the X axis, that's the left and right movement. The plan was to use a Lazy Susan bearing at the base to rotate the whole turret. So I designed a 3D printed gear that mounts onto the bearing and connects to the frame. Next, I built out the full frame using aluminum extrusion and mounted the Lazy Susan in place. Then I added two vertical uprights that would eventually support the Y axis. That's the up and down tilt. These posts press fit right into the gear. At this point, I had a giant gear and two posts. Perfect for paper football. Anyway, for the Y axis, I reused the same aluminum bar from earlier. It acts like a square shaft for the gun to rotate around. To support it, I made a custom 3D printed coupler round on one side to slot into a pillow bearing and square on the other to grip the bar. Then I designed a second gear for the Y axis. And just like that, boom, full two axis control. Now it's time to get into the real guts of this thing, the electronics. This turret's not light, so I went with some beefy NEMA 23 stepper motors to handle the movement. I 3D printed custom gears to connect them right to the big X and Y gears from earlier. This is super satisfying when they mesh. To control everything, I'm still using that same ESP32 from earlier. It connects to the Xbox controller over Bluetooth, reads the joystick and trigger inputs, and tells the motors what to do. For firing, I rigged up a MOSFET trigger switch, so when I press the trigger on the controller, it sends power to the solenoid and fires the gun. 
Once I knew everything was working, I soldered it all onto a proto board. And the whole setup runs off of a 24 volt power supply, which is probably a little bit overkill, but overkill is kind of the point of this thing. With everything wired up, it was finally time to see if this thing actually worked. I spent some time fine tuning the controls, like dialing in the joystick sensitivity, making sure the aiming was smooth, and the trigger was responsive. With all this good, it was time for a real world test. Definitely high stakes. One of the most annoying parts of this entire project has been just figuring out where I can actually shoot it. I mean, I can't roll up to some field with kids playing soccer and just start ripping paintballs. So yeah, it's been a bit of a mission. That's loud as any. I think it's dry fire. like right in the bladder. It went low. <laughs> like look at the underside of your shirt, like flip it inside. Doesn't it look like it ripped through? Like stretched it a little? Like right there. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, it's like... Yeah, it's out. After testing it out, the gun worked great. Smooth aiming, solid trigger, everything. But remember how I said earlier, overkill was kind of the point of this thing? Yeah. One gun didn't cut it, so I added another. And that's when it finally felt right. Out here in the woods, there's this wooden teepee and I think I'm gonna use this as my target for the upgraded gun. A fully functional, remote controlled, dual paintball gun turret, all powered by an Xbox controller. Definitely overkill. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.